Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Farhan, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question from the topic of reproduction. I've placed the question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. Question 6. The diagram below shows the cross-section of a flower and we are supposed to identify which parts of the flower will develop into parts of the fruit after fertilization. Usually, we begin this question by labeling the parts given in the diagram. We'll start with part A. That is the anther. Part B is the ovule. Part C is the stigma. And part D is the ovary. Let's quickly recap what are the functions of this part. What is the function of the anther? The anther produces and stores pollen grains. I'm going to use these blue circles here to represent the pollen grains. Now, the next part, the stigma. What is the function of the stigma? The stigma receives the pollen grain. And what is the name of this process? This process is called pollination. I'm going to draw some of the blue dots on the stigma to show that pollination has taken place. What happens after the process of pollination? The male reproductive cells inside the pollen grain must reach the female reproductive cells, which are inside the ovule. So, a long pollen tube will grow down towards the ovary, towards the ovule, to transfer that male reproductive cells to the female reproductive cells. And once they meet, the process of fertilization will take place. Usually, after fertilization, the anther and the stigma will wither and fall off. What happens to the ovary and the ovule? The ovary develops to become the fruit, while the ovule develops to become the seed. Hence, which parts of the flower will become parts of the fruit after fertilization? We have the ovary becoming the fruit and the ovule becoming the seed, giving the answer as B and D. Option number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the link on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I see you next time. Bye!